Every afternoon, the doctors from the aid organization Emergency make their rounds, driving over bumpy roads and past tired laborers. We're in the southern Italian province of Apulia, just 10 kilometers from its capital, Foggia. The doctors are a lifeline for the African laborers. Hundreds of them live here in the middle of the fields in makeshift shelters. We provide basic health care and guarantee rudimentary rights. The people here are entitled to that. Andrea Bellardinelli and his team of doctors first came here four years ago. Since then, the relief organization has become a permanent fixture. The migrant laborers aren't just here for the harvest. They live here the whole year round. They work all day long for a pittance in order to make ends meet. In the summer and autumn, they pick tomatoes, and now they're harvesting olives. It's no wonder most of them suffer from chronic muscle and joint pains. The mission of the Italian organization is to provide free medical help here in southern Italy and in many other parts of the world. Sometimes the doctors just provide advice. This man, originally from Gambia, is plagued by back pain. For months on end, he picked tomatoes, 25 crates of them a day, for a meager six euros a day. Unscrupulous farmers employ the refugees and migrants from Africa as cheap labor, without any form of social security. The tomatoes they pick are destined for supermarkets across Europe. In Foggia, a whole ghetto has sprung up. Thousands of people live here without electricity or running water. That angers the doctors from emergency. We can only point to their predicament. We don't have the means or power to fundamentally change anything. And it's not just doctors in Apulia who face this dilemma. Andrea Bellardinelli also coordinates aid teams in Calabria and in Sicily. Luca Corso is his contact person in Augusta near Catania in Sicily. Luca and his team care for people who were rescued from the Mediterranean off the coast of Libya. More than 300,000 migrants have arrived in southern Italy in less than two years in this way. Luca was called out to deal with an emergency. An Egyptian injured his arm trying to escape from the detention center. People with no chance of asylum are prepared to take desperate measures. Some slit their wrists or jump into the sea. Crazy things happen here. The aid workers know that not all of the migrants are political refugees with the right to asylum in Europe. But almost all of them need medical assistance of some kind. The greatest cause of concern are unaccompanied minors and women with young children. I've met a lot of courageous women who have lost children and their partners on the journey here. The moving thing is that they have consciously taken the risk of losing children or being separated from family members when they set out for Europe. Working here on a daily basis really gets you down. But you also get the feeling you're doing some good. At least, I hope that's the case. Spero di essere utile. At the end of the visit, each patient is given a document listing their personal data, any medications they're taking, or if they have any chronic illnesses. The doctors encounter many of the migrants from the Sicilian reception camps again in Apulia. This is how their dream of Europe ends, working as pitifully paid day laborers. Andrea Bellardinelli is shocked by the plight of migrants in Italy. Even if they ultimately get a residence permit, far too many people live in inhumane circumstances, and that in a country like Italy, which has a commitment to protecting human rights. The International Medical Organization Emergency has no shortage of work, even on its doorstep, and nobody could have imagined that when it was founded 20 years ago.